Hey guys, and welcome back to Studio One with me, Gregor. So as you might know, I'm reading and trying to reply to as many comments as I can from you guys. And one thing that was coming up time and time again recently is the request to freeze bus channels in Studio One. You might know that we have transforming tracks in Studio One. I covered that already in a different video that I'm going to link you here. But it's actually also possible to render channels such as bus channels so that you can save some processing. It's a little bit less intuitive than the transform process, but it works great. So stick around. First of all, I show you how to do this in theory. And then at the end of this video, I got to show you how you can do this with just one button press or one key press. And this is gonna hopefully speed up your workflow even further. Let's check it out. All right, so I have a couple of drums here that I've mixed and they're pretty much ready to go. And at this point, I might want to just render this down into a stereo track so that I can deactivate all of these plugins that are currently sitting on the channels and keep working with just that render. But of course, I still want to keep the original tracks around in case I need to go back to the individual stems and make any changes to them. So in theory, that seems to be a little bit complicated because uh, you can freeze tracks here in Studio One, like you can just right click a track and then you can just uh, select transform to audio track right here. And you can then also decide if you want to preserve the instrument track state so that you can retransform it into an instrument track and you can render all the insert plugins and so forth. But for a channel such as the bus channel right here that I brought into my track list by connecting it to a folder track, with this drop down menu right here. I've shown you this in my previous video. This doesn't quite work because if I right click that bus channel, you see I don't have the same transform option. So at first glance, it seems not to be possible to transform bus channels in Studio One or to freeze bus channels as it's called in other softwares, but it actually is with a little workaround that I wanna show you right now. So what we can do is we can just select the first channel of our bus with the left click and then the last one by holding down shift on my keyboard. And now I could just hit command shift and A to select all events on the selected tracks. This is a really cool little shortcut in case you didn't know this. Like if you have a bunch of events around here on your tracks and you want to select all of them at once, it's super easy. You just click on the first track, then you hold down shift, you click on the last one, and then you just hit shift, command and A on your keyboard or control if you're on Windows instead of command and you can select all of them. Now, if you do so, then you can actually use the command that you find here in the right click menu called mix down selection. What this does is it renders a stereo mix down of the entire selection. So that's the difference to bounce to new track, which is just working for individual tracks. This is actually a mix down of all of the selected tracks into one singular stereo file. And then it also mutes the tracks so that you don't hear the whole thing twice once that's done. So I just trigger a mix down selection here and you'll see I end up with a new stereo file like so. Okay, sounds the same and all the original ones are muted. But I still have all of these insert plugins around. They still potentially eat up processing in my song and I don't really need that. So what you usually do after that is you just select the first one again, then the last one of the just rendered selection, you right click and you disable these tracks because you don't need them anymore. And then you can also right click again and hide them. So now you just end up with this singular mix down and you still have all of the original stems accessible from here if you need to re-enable them. But that's a little bit clunky, as I'm sure you're gonna agree. If you have to do this every time, this is not an effective way to freeze bus channels in Studio One, right? Well, that's precisely why I spent a little bit of time to write a macro for you guys that handles all of these steps in just one singular step. Just one keyboard shortcut will be enough and all of this will be done for you. So hopefully this is gonna make it possible to freeze bus channels in Studio One after all. Let me show you how to do this. So. I just, first of all, gonna go ahead and remove the mix down that we just rendered with mix down selection. And now we just open up Studio One's browser by clicking here. And then we wanna go to Cloud and Personas Exchange. You can double click to log in. It's just gonna use your regular Studio One credentials to log in. And from here, 
we're just gonna use the search function that you find in the top column and type render. And you'll find render selected tracks in brackets freeze bus channels. This is a keyboard shortcut that I've added yesterday and you can just install that by clicking on install. I see update in my case because I already have it installed. You would see a green button that says install. Just click on that. And once it's installed, that should just take like two seconds or something. Then you can go up here to the studio and keyboard shortcuts and search for render. And here in the macros chapter, you should now find render selected tracks. That is my keyboard shortcut that makes it all possible. I just gotta assign that to any random keyboard shortcut of my choice. You can use whichever you want. And now if I just select all of the tracks that are going into this bus, this would also work on a multi-selection. So if I had multiple drums like so, it would work just the same. I just select the first track like before, then hold down shift, select the last track that I want to render. And then I just hit my brand new keyboard shortcut that we just assigned. We wait a few seconds and look at that. Now we have the entirety of the drums rendered down as a mixed down stereo file. And all of our used tracks are disabled and the plugins don't eat up any more processing in our song. Isn't that great? I love it. This makes it totally possible to freeze bus channels in Studio One now. Of course, it's a macro workaround, but you don't even notice that. You just trigger it like any other keyboard shortcut in the program. So hopefully this is going to be helpful to you. For me, this has been a massive accelerator of my workflow. I hope it can do the same thing for you. Let me know how it goes in the comments and thank you for watching.